It's basically just a movie about a girl who doesn't believe in love, and so she sets out to make a documentary about the subject. Is love a good thing? Yeah, I'm very good thing. Woo! Viva Las Vegas! During that journey, she meets a character named Michael Sarah, played by Michael Sarah. What are you guys filming? A documentary. What is it about? About, I don't believe in love. Will this be in the movie? The scene? Probably not. Yeah. There's real doc footage of real interviews, and there's also the love story and arc of Michael Cern and my character. Do you live around here? I don't want to tell you where I live. I don't trust you. Oh, OK. I can look it up. Look it up? Was it on the I'm internet? I'm not going to ask someone. Who would do that? Probably. I've never been in love, ever, so I'm not sure if I'm capable of it. Your love glass is half full. <laughs> <laughs> The people we interviewed were amazing. The love is not here, it's actually going on right up here. What's a perfect date? You need to take somebody to Applebee's and get them hot wings. If they're not married or engaged, they're fair game. Right now, you get married and you deal with this small stuff like the last name later. You know? Hey, who, hey, <laughs> thank you very much. So we created a list before we started shooting anything, like married, divorced, kids, bikers. Charlene was really into bikers. You ever drink a Jager bum? You drink enough of these, you'll wake up with an ugly girl and be happy. Uh, I don't know why they trusted me, actually. I think maybe because I was just as nervous as they were. Oh! I think the first person we pitched to was Michael, and I couldn't convey the idea at all. And then, like, Nick was like, how'd it go? I was like, I don't know. He said he doesn't know if he wants to do it. It's really not the real guy. It's almost this persona at times. What are you going to get? I'm going to get the Mexican beach salad. I want to say that to the waiter. They'll look at me and think, oh, this guy gets around. You know, I thought it was, it was really impressive how he could just step into it. Um, you OK to drive? Do I not high? Am I do I look high? No. Do you need uh, to take my microphone? Honestly, it felt more like a band going on tour. When you get stuck in a van with someone for 12 hours, that's when you really get to see the other side of the person. We made this pact from the beginning, like, whatever happens to us, we will still be friends, we will still be OK, all is forgiven. <laughs> you couldn't see me? Sometimes with documentaries, it's just a talking head, and then it cuts to, like, pictures. And I'm like, ah. I wish you could see their actual story happen, and I was like, why don't we just recreate it? I think, I don't know, there's something charming about, like, seeing, like, puppets instead of, like, people trying to, like, dramatize something. She's a, a unique person. She's not the traditional, like, leading lady, which I don't think I even thought of until we were kind of getting into the process. He's kind of interested in you for money. I have no money. You know, the movie really is her and her adventure or her journey, and it would be so different. If it wasn't Charlie in the movie, it wouldn't be paper art. All right, so you're in love. I am not in love, you're in love. At least I admitted it. She got you in that one. <laughs>